So, something a little bit different today. The state of my desk. No wonder I'm not inspired to create anything at the moment. Just look at it. It's got completely out of hand. So, I'm going to start reorganising this complete and utter disaster area. I've got some containers that I picked up. So, some of the stuff will be going in there. And obviously the dog's beads down there. But yeah, so... While I'm looking out there, I'm going to start trying to sort this out into some kind of logical, logical order. So I'll come back a little bit later. Once I got my desk tidied, I decided I was going to make an ironing board inspired by Tiny Keyhole Minis and also Lisa's Minches by Lisa. And I'll leave those links in the description box below. Their channels um, are really good. As you can see, I did this by time lapse, and it's probably just as well because it, it turned into quite a chaotic um, creation, I should I guess you'd call it. Uh, I, I ended up with, um, well, it, it, it started off working reasonably well, but the glue went everywhere, so I ended up with glue everywhere because it squirted out, and uh, pins came out of the the legs and well you name it pretty much everything was going wrong anyway you can see here is actually starting to take shape um i wanted a little board on top in hindsight i probably should have put that on last i've got some fabric that i thought i would try and i had a few ideas of how i wanted to use the fabric and i'm just experimenting a bit here and, and how i want it to go around and then i had this Great idea, I would use uh, some tin foil because um, I had an ironing board that had like this metal thing across it that used to hold the fabric in place. So I thought I'd try that and uh, the first bit of tin foil broke and so then I had to do it again and well, there you go. And I've decided I definitely do not like fabric glue in any way or form. So I'm never ever going to use fabric glue again. In fact, that fabric glue is going to go in the bin. By this stage I'm actually painting it and uh, that's when I realised I should have put that little silver bit in last after it had been painted. I'm painting the legs and this is where it all starts to go wrong because I get the legs painted and then the whole thing basically starts to fall apart. But you know I'm making progress and I keep telling myself that it's going to be worth it in the end. And I'm trying to put the pins back in again and a lot of the times it's at a screen I'm afraid. And then we basically get towards the end and uh, it's, it's, uh, not, it's not going very well. As you can see, it's all in bits again now. And then I do a little bit more gluing and it still doesn't want to fix. And there's a few choice words going on there. And eventually I toss it. Well, as you would have seen, I did get my ironing board finished. I'm not completely happy with it. Well, actually, I'm not really happy with it at all. But it is finished and this one will do. And hopefully I would have learned from the experience of making this one to make a better one in the future. And it is the right size for Muriel, so it will do. I think her iron perhaps is a little bit small in hindsight. But um, it's for doing little tiny ironing with. So how it turned out is I did put the, the kind of metal foil along there, like is on one of my ironing boards. I think perhaps it could have done with being narrower but um well this is what it is that's the underneath it does fold down so you can fold it down like that and so it could be stacked up against a wall if you wanted it to and it has two different heights we've got the higher height or the lower height rather and we've got a higher height so yeah it, it works so yeah that's my ironing board and we'll go and put it in the house. So here's Muriel in her kitchen, ironing board, the washing to be ironed, the laundry, and uh, yeah, it's, um, I don't think she's gonna be able to iron. There's the iron around that way, that's a bit better. So there we go. All in all, it works. As I say, I'm not completely happy with it, but it works, so hopefully I'll make a better one next time. Oh, and uh, yeah, I think I said 
uh, inspired by tiny keyhole minis and Lisa's miniatures. I will actually leave the links in the description box below. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you another time. Bye!